My name is Ashley Hewitt. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I've seen a lot of teachers sharing their classroom setup process and I absolutely love watching what everyone's doing right now over the summer. Um, I just get some sort of motivation by seeing how teachers are organizing Target, Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, all the craft supplies, all the organization supplies you guys have been showing off and it is definitely motivating me. So um, I just thought, hey, why don't I hop on here and share how it's going for me? Like I said, my name's Ashley and this is going to be my 12th year of teaching. I started teaching right out of college my first year was in kindergarten and then the last 10 years I was in a second grade class where I did a variety of teaching from getting my gifted certification and working with gifted students that were put into my class. I departmentalized and I taught only math and science one year and then I had a new partner move to my grade level and ask if I would teach reading so I taught ELA and social studies another year, um, actually two years. And last year, of course, the past two years, we dealt with the pandemic and distance learning and everything like that. And so this past spring, my boss approached me and asked if I would move down to kindergarten, that we had a need there and she thought that I would be a perfect fit there. So I decided to take the challenge and here I am. I did teach kindergarten my first year. I also worked when I was in high school at a preschool. So I do have experience with the early age group. Um, I currently have a two year old son and this summer I had a baby. So I have a six week old daughter and moving classrooms while being pregnant and then having a baby and coming in as I've been able to has definitely been a challenge, but I thought it'd be great to show how it's going so far. And if I am able to, I would love to share updates of the final product and how it goes. So I will be in the year 2021, a 12th year teacher. I've seen a lot of first year teacher videos, but I, hope that by being an experienced teacher maybe I can share some things that would benefit you and I have loved everything that everyone has been sharing so yes coming from a 12th year teacher but technically kind of like a second year teacher in kindergarten even though that was before um, our whole world decided to do Common Core and right now in Florida we're moving to new standards this year so I have a lot of trainings coming up on the next couple of weeks about that. And so I kind of feel like I'm a first year teacher all over again. So thanks for coming along with my journey. And here's a look at my room. everybody I am finally loading up it is Thursday July 15th and it is 10 o'clock and I'm finally getting in the car after being up several hours dealing with the newborn and I wanted to get out the door and get there closer to 8 o'clock and it's 10 so that's just kind of life with a newborn let me explain what's going on today. So got my diaper bag and lunch bag with snacks packed, baby, her boss net, all of my classroom library things. So my plan today is to try to get all of the organizational stuff accomplished as much as possible because today's Thursday. My room has been closed all week, Monday until yesterday. 
I tried to go up there twice. I even called and every time they still had the room closed for the floors being done. So today's Thursday and they told me yesterday that, you know, if I saw the sign on Monday that they still needed two more days. So if I go in today, I should be able to get in. But I was just told that this coming Monday, I'm my room is going to be used for a summer program with the kids. And it's going to be used Monday through Friday and then the following week every day until the teachers come back. So I am a little bit stressed that I was told that I needed to have my room like ready for students to sit in tables and, and tables cleared off and all that kind of stuff. So I have like all of my organizational bins on the tables and I had to move classrooms. So my room is definitely not organized and ready. I'm just moving in. So um, that's where I am right now. And it has been very challenging with having a newborn. You know, um, I had every intention to get up as my husband also gets up for work every day and leaves at seven. I was gonna get up and go with him, but I kept her for several hours in my arms because she would not settle and go back to sleep. When she finally did, I was finally able to go get dressed and get things done. And I was almost out the door, like at 8.39 o'clock, and she wanted to be fed, and she needed almost an hour to be fed. And so then, as I'm picking her up, getting her out the door, you know, getting closer to 10 now, she spit up all over me. I decided this is what I'm wearing today anyways, and it's not that bad. And I'm gonna go to the school and get really sweaty and gross anyways. So I don't plan on going to see anybody. I plan on coming back home and showering before my husband gets off from work. But this is seriously newborn life. And all of the teachers that are setting up their rooms without having to handle this stuff, that's you know a luxury that I hope you all appreciate, but I'm glad that I've got my daughter. I'm very th thankful she's an answered prayer, but it definitely does make it challenging to do all of this kind of stuff. So um, shout out to the people who are thinking about having babies. Get ready. <laughs> all right, well, let me get to the school and I will give you an update. All right, I made it in my room. It's now 1030, so that's the amount of time it took me to travel here and I had to make several trips from my car to my classroom in order to get the bassinet in here and to have the baby sleeping so she's good to go while I get work done let me give you a quick tour of the room of what it looks like now before I get started So you can see that they wax the floors this week and that's why all of my stuff is just kind of awkwardly placed. I have a lot of things um, ready to get stored. Um, this is what I was doing last weekend and so a lot of my tabletops have a lot of things on them since I am moving into this room and with a program coming in on Monday they need my tables ready for students to come in. So I don't have to have my room finished like for open house, but it just needs to be manageable. So I hope to get a lot of organizational things done today. Um, I've got a few things already started with my cabinets here um, where I was able to start loading some cabinets up with supplies that I had saved from previous years. But I um, I know I will be getting a lot more whenever we have open house and the students bring in their things. So the rest of the cabinets are all open and empty, um, aside from the things that the teacher from last year left. And then my tubs up there, I don't, I need to update the labels, but I've got one more that would go there. And that's basically what I do with all of the extra supplies that the students will be bringing from open house, you know, the extra pencils, um, Kleenex boxes, all of that stuff goes in there. I like to have it up where it's easy to reach if I need it, but I would rather have the cabinet things for the smaller stuff um, that aren't in so much bulk. And um, these cabinets I haven't even organized yet. Um, this is all left here 
from the teacher that was here before me. So she left a lot of grade level supplies, knowing that I was coming from second grade to kindergarten, that I didn't have a lot of the little manipulatives and things that they would need. So that was really nice of her to leave. A lot of learning games from Lakeshore and things that have been saved over the years for any teacher that needs it. So, you know, whenever you move grade levels, even though this is going to be my 12th year teaching, I still feel like I'm a first year teacher. So it's kind of exciting to see, you know, there are things for me that I don't need to run out and buy. Oh, I'm really excited to see this because I've seen a lot of teachers getting these on Amazon lately and sharing about how great these are. And I actually put one uh, set in my cart, but I'm glad I haven't bought that. <laughs> so yeah. Um, more evidence of why we need to be going through our things to see what we have so we don't accidentally pay for something we don't need. And I can hear my baby. Um, let's see how much I can get done today. I hope to have a good update later. I have only been here 30 minutes and she's been crying and wanting to be held. So it definitely takes a lot longer to get things done when you have a newborn. So, and let me get some work done today. Huh. All right, <clears throat> hands free. Let's see how much I can get done. Woo! and sorting through my boxes. I put all my office supplies up by my desk. I almost emptied up this table. I got all of my books pushed over here so that I can get them loaded onto the um, bookshelves for the library. And I'm working on sorting all of my arts and crafts. So it was really, really hard to do all of that while carrying a baby. I'm so sweaty. Um, but I'm so glad she finally fell asleep and let me lay her down without getting up and crying again. So hopefully now that means I can get even more done. It is now about 12.15, so I got about 15 minutes work done while she slept and she just woke up crying. So I changed her diaper and needed to feed her, but I got one table cleared off. I started putting some things back in that supply office back there closet um, and so the rest of this stuff should be pretty easy to clean off that's just crates that I can easily store somewhere so it's not a lot of things and then that other tables clean off except for the chart paper so I can easily move that and then the last two tables are full of all of the arts and crafts supplies that I'm trying to organize into bins so that shouldn't take too long i hope i can get it done today but if not i have tomorrow and things are moving right along i wanted to try a sitting task since bending over and lifting while holding a baby was pretty difficult so i gave it a try to use my cutting machine to work on my labels for my supply bins. And it turned out to be pretty difficult to do with the baby. So I don't recommend doing this. 
Good morning. It is Friday, July 16th, and I'm up here at the school. It is 1030. I got here at nine o'clock to meet with another kindergarten teacher who had some things to share with me. And all I've accomplished since I've been here is I met with her for about 30 minutes. I loaded things into my room, fed the baby, and right now I'm working on feeding myself. Um, that is a breakfast burrito that my husband and I, mostly him, made at the house um, earlier this week. Meal prepping has definitely been my saving grace this week in order for me to get things done. It is so nice that I'm not having to take 30 minutes to cook and clean all the dishes every single day. We have had our breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal prep for this week, and that has been a huge help. So if you are looking for ideas on how to get better organized, especially if you've got a little one or more than one. Um, I have a two-year-old and now a six-week-old, so um, starting school is definitely a little bit stressful for me, and I just threw up my hair even though I had it down earlier, but I have already worked up a sweat, so um, that's just what's going on today. I did not get a chance to get the room before I left yesterday when I um, wanted to show you an update, so I'm going to take you on a quick tour to see how much I got done for basically day one of classroom setup for this week, and I'll see how much I get started or how much I can get done today for day two. So thanks for watching, and here we go. So my goals for this week were to get my tables cleaned off. So you can see I've got a bunch of stuff on this one still, but it's just crates and I can easily put that stuff away once I have space for it. And then over here, I had these two tables filled with um, different crafts supplies that I was sorting and putting into little shoebox containers. Um, I was also doing the same thing over there on my bookshelves. So I got this table completely cleaned off yesterday. So that's an accomplishment. And I was able to go through a lot of the boxes that I had packed up to move um, and find most of the boxes that had my books in them for the library. And I just pushed them all up against here because I'm trying to make room for what I'm doing and just putting things where they go in the categories was what was really hard to find everything inside the boxes. I spent a lot of time doing that yesterday. Another project that I started yesterday was getting all of my supplies labels cut out and I tried to start laminating but let's see if I can show you what happened. The top of the sheet started to curl up and it was getting stuck in my little personal laminated machine so um I took that home last night and my husband was able to undo the whole thing and get the whatever was stuck in there and causing it to curl up so thankfully we were able to get that fixed I'm so glad he was able to help me with that and so this is just some more supplies that I'm going to be um, storing up on top there whenever I get the chance but this stuff is kind of last priority First priority today is to get those tables cleaned off, um, but I'll show you another thing that I was able to set up yesterday. So this is just um, getting bulletin board borders that were left here by the previous teacher and then some of mine, I just boxed those up. I'm gonna find a spot for them. Um, and then I laid this up here yesterday, put that stuff here on these hooks. Those hooks were already there. And this is my, um, my teacher closet storage office whatever you want to call this all of this stuff is the teacher that's next door she is currently painting and getting her room done so um that's why everything's in here it will not look like this this year because this is my side so i don't really have a lot stored but this is what i did yesterday all of these bins that are in this shelf were what i sorted and packed up yesterday so you can see that's quite a bit of stuff so I was pretty excited that I was able to do that. Um, so by the end of all of the organizing that I'm doing right now, this whole shelf will be filled with manipulatives. Most of it right now is arts and crafts supplies. Um, so whenever that's finished, I'll definitely show that. 
All right, so that's the tour of what I was able to finish yesterday, which was day one of setup for this week. I've already come up a few times over the summer. And it is now 10.45, so my breakfast is done, baby's been fed, she's laying down, she's still awake. So she's kind of at that stage where she wakes up crying and wants to be held more right now. Um, sometimes she'll give me a day where she'll sleep in between feedings and I can get a lot done. So hopefully today I'll get a lot done and it'll be very productive. Yesterday she wanted to be held a lot. So even though I just showed you what I got accomplished, I was here from like 10.30 to four and that was not very much for that time. I was holding her most of it. But today I may have a friend come and help. So I'm really excited to have some help today and we'll see how much I get done in the end. Stay tuned for the update and thanks for watching. So after I did my last update video, um, she started to cry, but I think it's because she was awake and I just got her to sleep, but I've had to hold, I've had to wear her while I've been working. And this is what I've gotten done so far. I got these um, letters and numbers from the Target Dollar Spot. I got four packs of letters and four packs of numbers and it also comes with the little math symbols. I went ahead and picked out the dividing and multiplying and greater than and less than um, signs because um, I wanted to start with kindergarten with just number identification and letter identification so um, I know that even in second grade we did a little bit of this um, but this might be too advanced for them so I went ahead and pulled them out just to avoid the kids being confused and you know any kind of meltdown that might happen because they don't know what it is um, and then I've been putting each pack into one of these little photo boxes that I got from I ordered it off of Amazon but I know that plenty of people have gotten them from Michaels and and even Walmart um, so yeah they're they're great for little station um, manipulatives and any kind of supplies to set up to have ready to go for one kid per box and that's kind of how I organized that I did the reddish colors for reading and bluish colors for math just so I can tell them apart by easily looking at them so that's what I'm doing so far So it's three o'clock. I've been up here six hours. One hour was spent just talking to the teacher um, about plans and what I need to get ready for for the year. And then probably about half of that time was spent just feeding the baby, feeding myself and holding her um, almost the entire time she wanted to be held. So it was really hard for me to get work done without wearing her in the little wrap that I have. So definitely recommend that for all of you moms with little ones. Um, if you've got to come up here and you don't have any help, that's at least gave me some time. Even though I was up here a lot, um, she was just crying every time I laid her down. So having her on me helped her fall asleep and I could do little things. It was hard to move big boxes and do a lot of bending. So I would just try to find something that I could do easy with one hand. Um, she ended up, you know, kind of needing me to kind of like cuddle her a little bit. So a lot of stuff today was one handed. Um, and I was so grateful to have my friend come who used to teach kindergarten and now she's homeschooling. So she was a huge help today. Thank you so much, Sierra. And um, I am so excited that she's gonna come back by another time and help me out. So. Um, this is coming up on our weekend when my husband will be off he'll be able to keep the kids and I'll be able to get so much more done so um, I'm looking forward to my next update and I feel like it looks it still looks like a mess but you can see the progress